Oh, hey, Brent, Scientist Sam. Are you recording this? Oh, okay. Hey, I just was going about to do your experiment. You want to want to go ahead and catch it, capture it on tape? As you know, what we were talking about earlier was making water and how water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, hence H2O. And what I've done is I've, I've created these atoms. As you can see, those are the two hydrogen atoms. And there's the oxygen atom. And I've made them into a form where we could actually see them, similar to what marshmallows look like. What I've done is I've created the hydrogenator, which the hydrogenator will take the oxygen atom and the two, two hydrogen atoms. And wait a minute, you can't be filming my hydrogenator. That's top secret. Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll put the hydrogen, the atoms, in the hydrogenator, and then we turn on the hydrogenator, and that mixes the atoms up. And it takes two of the centrifuges, the atoms get combined. All right, I think that'll work. Now we get the hydrogenator on, and. There we go. As you can see, if you take the two hydrogen and the oxygen atoms, you get some high quality H2O. Now, for those of you that didn't follow Brit's experiment, what was going on is if you imagine these seashells as hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen has an outer shell that's missing two valence electrons. Hydrogen has an extra, so it pulls in and locks into there. But if it was just one, we still wouldn't have it because we still have an extra out here. And so as Britt has pointed out, it comes in. So you have H2O. And what you end up with is water.